Garrett from Easley, South Carolina said, what do us fans have to do to stop having national title games played on Monday nights? This is a basketball thing. This is a college football thing. No one likes it. Have you ever, guys, I mean ever, met anyone who likes this, who likes national title games being played on Monday nights? Forget about basketball for a second. Because basketball, at least that happens on weeknights. No college football games happen on Monday night. And then all of a sudden, this group of folks wearing $2,000 suits says, hey, wait, hey, wait a second, we got data. We're here with data. We, we talked with the consultants who could not tell you UNLV's mascot to save their life, but they have consulted us and they have told us that Monday night, that's the night for college football's national championship game. Well, I would counter with this. No, it's not. No, it's not. Now, there are, there are several things that go into this, as we all know. The first question was, what can you do as a fan? Really, all you can do is something you're not going to do, and that's stop watching. And I'm not going to do it either. I'm not going to threaten to stop watching. This is one of those grin and bear it sort of situations for the time being, because I don't think it's moving off Monday night for the time being, because I don't think people who really have the best interest of the spirit of college football in their mind when they make these decisions are the ones making the decisions. Now, that's an argument, that's a chorus that a lot of us have sung for a long time, but the other part of this is, as you know, there's a lot of data, there's a lot of research that goes into this, but also there's an elephant in the room named the NFL. And this is where I have a growing problem with the way college football operates. College football operates at the behest of the NFL on nearly every front. You're already a feeder system. You serve as their minor league system. You're also the equivalent of a multi, multi-billion dollar marketing machine that makes every guy that's going to one day play in the NFL be a household name before the NFL ever gets their hands on me. Can you imagine that? Imagine the gift that college football is from a developmental and marketing standpoint to the NFL and what does the NFL do in return? Absolutely nothing. And then college football says, oh, oh, the NFL, you guys want to play games on Saturdays that time of year? Oh, yeah, you got it. We're good. We'll just go on uh, Monday night. We'll, we'll do that. We're, we're good. Whatever you guys want, whatever you guys need, we're terrified. We can't go head to head with the NFL. Why? We would lose viewership. What viewership would you lose? What viewership would you lose? I'd argue a whole lot of folks would still watch your game. Now, if I am a television executive, and I am tasked with making these decisions, and I don't really have the spirit of college football at the forefront of my list of criteria, maybe I'd put it on Monday night. But I'm not that. You're not that. She's not that. He's not that. Most people listening to this or watching this or whatever, you're not that. We're just college football fans. So I've never wrapped myself in that kind of logic. And I would encourage you, humbly, not to do it either. Don't sit there. If someone starts arguing, if you're at your family reunion in Weedowie, Alabama, later this summer, and this comes up, and your cousin Jeff says, boy, I hate that the national title game's played on Monday night, and Pete over here goes, well, yeah, but you know, you can't go head-to-head -head against the NFL. Why, Pete? Why? What network that you run told you you can't do that? You're just parroting their talking points for them. Pete. You're going to watch the game if it's Thursday at 3 a.m., but you'd prefer to have it when? Saturday. Why, Pete? Because I eat, sleep, and breathe college football. That's why Pete would say, well, why in the world are you, are you carrying the water for television executives then? Who cares? And if it's going to dip ratings slightly, does it affect you? Does it affect me? Does it affect Pete or Jeff or anyone, for that matter, on the dock there at, at beautiful Lake Widawi? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. This is also why, on a different side street, I've always, in recent times, pushed back on this, this talking point of fans worrying about what television ratings were for college football games. It doesn't matter for you. It matters for a small, small group of people. And you know what? Even further down that road, and I'm going to end here because we have had a very, very spirited start to the pod today. Even further down that road, you know what's further down that road? It, it's, the, it's the little shack out in the woods there, and everyone wonders what goes on in there, and no one's brave enough to go down the road and find out. And, hey, I worked at WLTZ in Columbus, Georgia, once upon a time, and there was a shack on the road that our station was on that closely resembled the one I'm figuratively talking about right now. Bradley knows. If he's in the other room somewhere, Bradley knows. That room in that shack 
is the folks who devised the college football playoff. And so a generation ago, we were doing the same thing, except a generation ago, a few people in that room figured out they could get rich if they instituted a college football playoff, but they knew they couldn't just come out and say, hey, we want to get rich. Go along with this playoff. We need fan sentiment on our side. What they needed to do was convince you college football's broken, college football needs a playoff, and it worked. And so they didn't have to do their marketing fight for themselves. People in the, in the college football fan sphere did it for them. And I hate it. And I was, I was drawn in. That's why I take it personal, because I was a sucker back then. I fell for it. You know, I went along with them. I had the, I had the hook. You hear that? If you're listening on pod, I had the hook squarely in my lip, but it will not happen again. 